What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back at y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Please hit your notification bell and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Hope everybody had a blessed day. Shouts out to anybody who's new to my channel or anybody who just watched my channel and not subscribed. I appreciate all you guys and everything. Don't take nothing for granted. Uh, I had a blessed day. Hope you had a blessed day. If you're having a rough day, I pray to God that he, uh, that you know that you have a better one and you have a better day um this got to you know i got me a fresh cut got me a haircut and everything you know i try to you know i try to look, you know take care of myself out here you guys like i said it's just me you know until god bless and everything but um i want to get into uh if you're looking right now this is my kind of my black history shirt and everything you know malcolm frederick martin harriet and i think this is third good marshall here i got it on there you really can't see the way it is and everything, but it's my little black history shirt. You guys know I am pro-black. I am not no Uncle Tom, and I'm sure as hell ain't no damn house, dude. No house, nigga. But anyway, got all that out of the way. Here we go. The title of today's subject, you guys, and I know y'all been liking my videos and everything. I appreciate the love. Like I said, real, unedited content. I talk about stuff people are afraid to talk about or they ignore, which is reality. And I deal with reality. I don't deal with fantasy. Go read fairy tales to the kids. Grown-ups deal with reality. Topic of conversation today, you guys, is called the inner man versus the outer man. I repeat, the inner man versus the outer man. And when I say man, I'm meaning woman too. Okay? The inner you versus the outer you. Here's the thing, you guys. When people, when they first meet you, their first impression is what they see on the outside. They don't know you, don't know any information about you. This is what I'm gonna tell people, stop passing judgment and everything on people you don't know. I don't care how they look, how they dress, how they talk, how they walk, how they act, it does not matter. The outer version of you is a preview, just like they show in the previews before they don't show you the actual movie, but they show you the previews. That's exactly the same thing with your outer version is, you know, okay? But the inner man, your soul, the, your true character, who you really are and everything, at times is either hidden or it's camouflaged and everything. And somebody who's not paying attention won't be able to recognize it. See, me, what I do and everything, I try to be real all the time. Not some of the time, but all the time. How I act here, how I talk here and everything, I talk the same way in person when I'm off camera. Because I, like I said and everything, if, I'm, if I can't be real with you and everything, but excuse me, if I can't be real with myself, how am I going to be real with you? If I'm going to be phony with you, if I'm phony, no, phony with myself, I'm going to be phony with you. And we don't get down like that over here. Not on the Beretta 19 family. We speak real, we speak honesty. You know, whether it make you happy, make you mad, make you sad, make you joyful. We keep it real. You guys, this is why I tell y'all and everything to stop judging people based off how they appear to you. Because you don't know the full story. The full behind the scenes reason as to why they act and behave the way they do. You don't know. You assume you know, but you don't know. Hold on one second, okay. You assume you know, but you don't know. And what you guys gotta understand is this and everything. People try to hide who they are on the inside. Either one, they're scared. Excuse me, either one, they're scared. They're ashamed. Or they don't feel that who they really are is good enough for the for their peers and family or you know people on the outside. Let me explain something to you. If you can't be real, if you can't be who you are, if you gotta you know put all these damn airs on and facades on and everything, then you don't need to be around those people. I don't care who they are. See me, I am who I am. Hate me or love me, accept me or decline me, I'm gonna be me. I carry myself in a respectful manner, and yes, and everything, yes, I carry firearms with me, yes, I may act this way, or I may talk a way you don't like and everything, that's your problem. I'm not switching up the game for you. I'm not doing that. Because like I say, I'm not going to be, a, I'm not going to false advertise myself to somebody just so somebody else can feel comfortable. If you don't like what I say, like I, like I tell people all the time, and everything, please feel free to go somewhere else, or turn your head, or whatever the case may be. Because... What happened with so, so many people, more in women than men, but women, men too, 
But what happened with so many people, you try to blend in to your environment. A should have started uh, inst uh, ins instead of trying to um, stand out in your environment. Be a leader, not a follower. It's the same thing when you watch these old stupid TikToks that people be having on. And if it has nothing to do with building your character, nothing to do with building your character, being a better person. If one person got, you know, they throwing a bottle of water up in the air, uh, doing this and everything, all of a sudden everybody starts doing it. And everything, give their own version to it and everything. Learn to be a leader, people. Stop following every damn thing you see. That's the problem in this world. That's why I say again, why I have less views and less subscribers and everything, because I be a leader. If I got to stand alone, if I got to walk alone, so be it. I'm not switching up the game for nobody. You either accept me who I am and everything, or you keep it moving. Why I got to change and everything? Now, I modify as I get older, but the, the whole, to strip me down and to get the, you know, to, to change the whole makeup of who I am and everything, no. Because I know what I've been through. Remember, like I said in other videos, your environment shape and form and your experiences all uh, shape and form who you are. How you talk, how you carry yourself, everything. And let me tell you something else I told my mother uh, today. She often asks and everything, why do you know, young ladies? My mother's very old school. That's how she raised me. That's how I act. And that's how my dad raised me. But here's the thing, you guys. She asked me the question and everything. Why do a lot of you know young girls, particularly teenage girls, wear tight clothes and everything to reveal their body. Let me explain that. A lot of women, and I'm going to get men too now, ladies. You know, I, I don't just talk about y'all. I talk about men too. Remember, I'm harder on men than I am anybody, especially us black brothers. But here we go. reason why a lot of teenage girls wear tight clothes is because at some to reveal their body is because at some point, some little ignorant boy called them ugly. Or say they was this, or say they look like this, or said something negative about them. Here's the thing, and it's applied to both man and woman, boy and girl. The way you carry yourself is a result of somebody doing something to you or saying something to you that was negative. I'm gonna say it again. The way you carry yourself is a result of somebody saying or doing something negative to you. I don't care if you carry yourself in a positive or a negative uh, uh, demeanor and everything. How you carry yourself, how you present yourself, how you talk is a result and everything of how, how you handle situations. It's a result of somebody doing something negative or, or even positive, but I say more negative to you and everything or saying, or saying something negative to you that caused you to feel that way. Perfect example. A lot of people may ask me, say, hey, why are you always carrying guns? Oh, girl, he crazy and everything. No, I'm not. I say again, no, I'm not. That's your opinion. And you're entitled to it. But I'm not crazy. reason why I carry a lot of guns and everything ain't because nobody beat me up. You can ask my mother. You, I, I would get her on this video right now and she'd tell you she ain't never had to get no damn nigga off me. Ain't nobody ever doing all this well in the way of me. You forget that. Nobody never ran me from anywhere. Ain't never been jumped. Don't give me this crap where you didn't grow up over here. You didn't go, don't give me that crap. Like I told you, I didn't grow up in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, okay? I didn't grow up in Bougieville, okay? Just, I'm just keeping it real with you. What happens? Somebody says something negative or somebody done something negative to somebody is why they act that way. And why I act that way, I do and everything. Because I had an incident, I think I discussed it a while back and everything. Two guys was acting a fool with me over some damn sunglasses. Now, mind you and everything, anyone who knows me personally, other than my prescription glasses I use because I have to wear, you know, when I'm driving my truck and everything, I don't wear sunglasses. I don't wear glasses at all and everything as far as that's not job related, okay? Follow me here. When I had an incident with the guys and everything, I was at a restaurant. You know, he was arguing, acting a fool over some glasses. He blocked my, he blocked my car with me and my brother in and I'll be honest with you and everything, I didn't have no gun to have anything. Because I was up to that point, I never felt the need to have one. But when that happened, that ain't the only incident, by the way. But when that happened, I looked over and I told my brother and everything, this will never happen to us again. And it wasn't that, okay, you was terrified or everything. No, 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 I don't feel nothing but God. That ain't no tough guy talking, that's grown man talking. Just want to make sure you know. So, what ends up happening? I purchased my first firearm, okay? 
I don't like no, ain't no man putting no fear in me and no woman ain't putting no fear in me. It ain't gonna happen. Now, I purchased my first firearm. Believe me or not, I taught myself how to shoot. I taught myself how to load a gun. And I taught myself many things about guns. In particular, you guys see my shooting videos. I ain't telling you I should win a award or something, everything, but I'm, I like to think I'm a pretty damn good shot, you know? But my thing is, you guys, I said, I told you guys that story to tell you this. That was some negative. You blocked my car in if there were some damn sunglasses that I still to this day don't even know what the hell they look like. And that ain't the only thing. I just want to throw that out, out there to you. When stuff happened to you guys, or in, in particularly women cases, when somebody say something to you negative, or you're ugly, or you're stupid, or everything, or you don't talk right, you use bad English, you're ignorant and everything, it causes you to wear, to talk, and to act, to prove whatever you heard someone say, excuse me, or someone do wrong. A lot of reasons why, like I said, girls wear tight clothes, because at some point some man called them ugly. A lot of reasons why a lot of girls act wild and everything, because a lot of some boy or some man, then told them everything, you a goody too, sure, you a softy. You this and everything. A lot of reasons why a lot of dudes get into a lot of fights and they shouldn't and everything over stupid stuff and everything. Because if people talk about, see, people figure, if you ain't running the street, if you ain't shooting at people, if you ain't running from the cops, if you ain't got a criminal record and everything, they think you a punk. Or you a pushover, I'll smack you around, I'll knock you around, you easy, you easy prey. What they don't realize and everything, the reason why you don't do it because you choose not to. It ain't because you're scared or terrified. It's because you choose not to because you're trying to do the right thing. Besides, you got your mind focused on going to school or trying to better yourself. But people try to pull you down and everything to that negative level and everything. That's why I tell you guys, you got to watch out for the traps out here that people try to set you at. Because that's what I'm telling you. They figure that, be like I said, you ain't living wild like them. You ain't drinking and smoking like them. You ain't acting crazy. You ain't sleeping every, sleeping around with every woman or every man and everything. They think you a lame. Remember I told you, followers love company. Leaders stand alone. Followers love company, but leaders stand alone. I'm a leader. How many times have you heard me say I walk this road alone? You ain't, like I said, you ain't got a chair for me when I walk on stage. As long as I get that reward, holla at you later. People are people, y'all. Whatever you do, this is why I tell you guys, work on that inner man or that inner woman, okay? Don't get, don't false advertise yourself or switch up you, who you are and everything to please somebody else, to please a man or please some woman or please family. Be who you are and love who you are. If they don't accept you, you are and everything. We understand there is a man that accept you who you are. His name is Jesus. Damn people, man. They figure you should be in our circle doing what we're doing and everything. Acting, blending in and everything. That's why I say with these TikToks, these virals and these uh, Facebook and all this old crazy stuff and everything. Everybody want to see what's the new trend. But when you start acting different and you start excuse me, you start acting the way a, a woman or a man supposed to be and everything, not acting a fool, dancing, shaking, twisting, doing all this crazy stuff that they be doing and everything. Something wrong with you. Lots of you got some people and everything that watch my channel. I have gotten to got into it with everything, thought something was wrong with me. You talk about horrible topic. You talking about everything and get your ass off my channel then. This ain't no horrible topic. But like I said, now a video I made is called What Should I Do and Everything. Should I ignore that this stuff don't go on? Should I act like this stuff don't exist? Should I act like brothers and sisters don't hate each other? I mean, come on now. Like I said, you want me to be real with you? You want me to be phony with you? What you want, you want, you want me to do? I know I'm going to be real. So I'm just letting you guys know everything. Ladies, love who you are. You ain't got to act like what you see on TV. You ain't got to act like what your favorite celebrity uh, is saying. You ain't got to get no damn uh, BBL or no breast implant or no lip job or any of this crazy stuff and everything to look beautiful. God made you beautiful and everything when he created you. You don't need all that added, no add-ons. God made you the way he made you that way. He made you that way and everything for a reason. 
if your man don't if your man if he, if he don't if he say your breast is too small and your breast is too small and everything well i'm gonna tell you right now if i were you and everything if you don't respect the way that you are uh, that i look and everything then we don't need to be together if he tell you your behind's too small or you seeing everybody getting ass and plants and everything you don't need all that crazy stuff your behind and everything, first of all, if a real man love you, he'll love you for who you are, not for what you got. Remember what I told you. Be careful when people come in your life. They, they're, only, they're only there to take, but they're not there to give. Now, I understand everybody want a beautiful woman. Everybody understand everybody want a handsome man. But if the only reason why you're talking to her, the strictly only reason why you talk to her, because she's got a bad body and everything, you are a blind fool. Cause you're not seeing the qualities of what she got and same thing with you ladies if you only talking to him and everything because he look handsome or he got a pocket full of money then you a blind fool love somebody for who they are they have good qualities i keep telling y'all everybody is different and everybody ain't no such thing as the same person even twins are different stop treating everybody the same everything when everybody got bring something different to the table well, I may be good at protection and cooking and maybe coaching or teaching everything. Another brother may be good at working on a car or something. Or he may be bad at that and everything. Or a man, or you may take one man who may be passive aggressive, but a man like me may be, may be aggressive. That don't make him less than a man. That's just who he is. And that's the problem with everything. Everybody's trying to fit in to what the world is doing instead of standing out. Stop trying to fit in. Followers fit in, fit in, excuse me. Followers fit in. Leaders stand out. You ain't gotta do everything you see on this stupid TikTok and this social media and all that. To me, social media is the biggest damn disaster there is. Put all this garbage on here. Showing girls and dudes and everything how not to act and how not to carry themselves. He, black girl hate black man. Black man hate black woman. And you wonder why we have all this problem in the world. So I'm just letting you know, be a leader, y'all. Be a leader. Work on that inner man. Make sure that inner man and everything loves God. Make sure that inner man loves his parents, love his wife, love his kids. Make sure that inner woman and everything ain't out cheating. Make sure that inner woman love is genuine. Don't give me this bull only women love for real and men don't love for real. That's not true. Men do love for real. They do. The problem is, just like y'all women and everything, they've been hurt, cheated on, and lied on too. The only difference is men handle it a different way versus how y'all handle it. So let's make sure and everything, we work on that inner man. Work on that inner woman. Make sure and everything, we ain't false advertising ourselves to somebody. Make sure that what we put on as a preview, it ain't something different that's behind the scenes. Be real, y'all. When the curtains come up, be real. When the curtains go down, be real. Don't switch up for anybody. If they can't accept you who they are, to the hell with them. You ain't got to switch up a damn thing. Hey, this is who I am. This is where I come from. This is why I act the way I do. Accept it or decline it. You decline, have a good nice day. You ain't the one for me. So just letting you know, be who you are. Don't be what people say you, you should be. Don't, be, don't, don't let people dictate how you, your life should turn out. You dictate. Be a leader, not a follower. Work on that inner man. That outer man may deceive people, but that inner man will eventually be found out. You get dudes all the time and everything. I'm talking about they the hardest dude in town. They the toughest dude down the street and everything. But that inner man know better. And let me explain something to you. Keep false advertising yourself or selling whoop tickets and everything. Somebody going to buy that, that ticket one day. And then everybody gonna find out just who you really are. Same thing with you ladies. Put false advertising yourself to people. Don't get in up here talking about you full of the spirit and you trying to, you know, you nice and kind and sweet and everything. Then when a man get with you, you find out that he just married a damn devil in disguise. Get it together. I keep telling you both sides, baby. Ain't just woman, ain't just man, both sides. Get it together. It's Beretta 19, you guys. Work on that inner man, work on that outer man, work on that inner woman, work on that outer woman. Because if you don't, that inner man, that inner woman is going to be exposed eventually. You, I've always said, and I'm, gonna, I'm done here. I don't care what you hide in this world. 
there's one thing you can't hide in this world that will eventually be revealed, and that is your character, the inner person who you are. Everybody gonna find out if you really got a good heart. Everybody gonna find out if you really a nice person. Everybody gonna find out if you really crazy or not. But stop, stop false advertising. Made that video, go check it out. Stop it. If you ain't about that, if you ain't about that, quit lying. Just letting you know. Brother 19, take care.